put on a spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23 tell us, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is the result of the Holy Spirit's presence in the life of a Christian. The Bible makes it clear. Everyone receives the Holy Spirit the moment he or she believes in Jesus Christ. One of the primary purposes of the Holy Spirit coming into a, a Christian life is to change that life. It is the Holy Spirit's job to conform us to the image of Christ, making us more like him. The Christian life is a battle of the sinful flesh against the new nature given by Christ. As fallen human beings, we are still trapped in a body that desires sinful things. As Christians, we have the Holy Spirit producing his fruit in us, and we have the Holy Spirit's power available to conquer the acts of the sinful nature. A Christian will never be completely victorious in always demonstrating the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It is one of the main purposes of the Christian life, though, to progressively allow the Holy Spirit to produce more and more of his fruit in our lives and to allow the Holy Spirit to conquer the opposing sinful desires. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is what God desires for our lives to exhibit and with the Holy Spirit's help, it is possible. Stand. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Children's Church. I want to thank you all for listening so far. And um, as you know, we've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We embody these traits whenever we follow God's word and the Holy Spirit helps and guides us and he convicts us when we don't. See, think of it like this. We're kind of like, we're trees. And whenever we follow God's word, we're getting the proper nourishment and we're bearing good fruit. And whenever we don't do this, we'll, we'll wither. We won't have good fruit. We might actually have poisonous fruit affecting the people around us. But the good thing about this is this is 100% our choice. We can choose to follow God's word. We can choose to not follow these sinful desires that we have. And when we do, we will bear fruit. Now, only question I have today, only have one, is what kind of fruit are you bearing? Now, I can't really hear you talking right now, but I just want you to think about it. I'm um, going to go ahead and close this out with prayer, and then we're going to go on to the craft. <laughs> thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Yes, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for what you've done and what you're going to do. I just want to pray that the message we're teaching today reaches to everyone, and that they may all follow your word and bear good fruit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hello. Welcome back to Crafting What's Me. Before we start off with our craft, we're going to do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For that is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So today's lesson, we was talking about um, the fruit of the Spirit and the um, the acts of like sinfulness, um, sinful nature. So we're going to be making a tree that ripes fruit, representing the fruit of sin. Um, the, the fruit of the Spirit. This will be rep representing the fruit of the Spirit. And this tree right here, which is only branches and looks very dead, will be um, representing sinfulness and a sinful tree that does not grow and does not reap fruit. So, what you need for this project is paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, 
construction paper, a writing utensil, glue, and some pom-poms, and scissors. So, the first thing you will want to do is grab the construction paper. Um, I'm going to take this red right here. We're going to be making a simple tree first, okay? So we're going to take this paper, and you will preferably want brown, orange, and red paper to make the dead kind of fall branches of your tree. And so you're going to trace your hand um, on the paper and then cut it out. So, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but here I have traced my hand. I did it in pencil, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. But you would trace your hand on the paper and then you cut it out. We have our dead branch. So off to the side, I do have pre-cut out hands that I'm going to be using. So I have red, orange, and some brown. That we'll be using. So I'm going to take one of my um, paper towel rolls and I'm just going to, wait no, before I do that, I'm going to grab these hands and on the ends, I'm going to write some simple things on it. So I'm going to grab hand so y'all can see. So um, ask yourself, what are some simple things? Um, lying. What else? Um, stealing. Um, jealousy is a sin. Okay, I just wrote uh, a few of them on here, as you can see. But what you need to do is, like, on here, she has hatred, discord, um, discord jealousy, selfishness. She has wrote all these words on here, and there will be pictures added. Um, but yes, we're gonna write a whole bunch of scents on these hands for your simple chain, um, as you can see. So the next step will to be to get your glue and put glue all over the back of the hand, all over. These represents your branches of sinful nature. There we go. We got our first hand on there. You want the branches to be out so it can represent branches. And I'm going to now put more of these hands on here. And with the other hands, you, you should put words on them too. Sinful words. This doesn't have to be perfect. The tree is supposed to look ugly and undesirable because that's what sins are. There you go. And here's how you will make your um, simple tree. So, I'll place this to the side. So next, we're going to be making the fruit of spirit tree. And so this tree, this tree is representing peace, joy, peace. It's all the good things that, you know, shows you the, the presence of the Holy Spirit and, you know, what God wants. And so you'll need this, the um, paper roll, paper towel roll. My bad, excuse me. And you'll need a gray piece of paper, and you need to cut out two uh, brown hands to re represent the branches and the bark of the tree. Um, okay, so first we're gonna fold this in half, hamburger style. As you can see, now we're gonna take a, a writing utensil and we're gonna draw kind of like a cloud, like a tree would be. See? Like this, I think y'all can see it better because it's on the green paper. Then you will cut it out. Um, folding it hamburger style allows you to make 
two cutouts instead of one, so you don't have to cut out separately, cut out two pieces separately, but you can cut out two pieces separately. You don't have to do it in a this and then cut. Whichever is easiest for you. two treetops okay and so we're gonna set this off to the side and work on the branches so on these hands here um just like with the uh, the sample tree we have we're gonna be writing on the branches um some example examples of you know the fruit of spirit okay so like like joy Patience, love, and kindness. Okay, you will fill these up with examples of the fruit of the spirit. So, now that we have our branches done, we're going to come back to these and we're going to grab some fruit, aka pom poms. So, what you want to do here is grab your favorite colors and we're going to be making these fruits of the spirit that goes ripe and beautiful and ready to eat as I got God intended. So I got some here and what I'm going to do is take some glue. You can also use like liquid glue. I think that would be better than um, stick glue and just place it on there on your tree. Put as many as you want, as little as you want. Just make it you and make it pretty. So now I have my fruit on the tree. You see there, it looks like I got some strawberries, some apples, some blueberries. Um, so yeah, so next we're gonna have to put this on the tree. So I'm gonna start off with the branches. As you can see, I'm going to just fill that up with glue. Um, right here, I'm only putting glue in the middle of the hand so that the branches can stick out when I put it on here. So I'll put the glue only in the middle. And I'm putting it at the front of the roll like like so and I'm doing the same thing with the other hand like so there you go Let's place that right back and so next we have these we're gonna flip them over put a whole bunch of glue in the middle so that the sides can really stick out like this you see where I put the glue now I'm going to put it at the front oh like this okay and then I'm going to turn around and do the same thing once again, probably better if you use liquid glue, it will probably stick way better. So here you go, that's the, the fruit of the spirit tree. You see these examples, they're supposed to look really, really pretty. And so, put these up here. And these are the sinful fruit, like the sinful tree. And that we don't want. It's not pretty. Something that you wouldn't want to keep. And yeah. So that's it for today's crafting with Tania. And um, I urge you to do this craft and send a picture to me. We would love to see it. And thank you for joining. Bye.